China, with its rich history spanning over 4,000 years, has always been a land of incredible achievements and innovations. In recent years, it has competed with the world to proclaim itself as one of the fastest construction forces, surpassing big countries like the United States in construction speed, previously thought impossible. While the U.S. takes months or even years to complete major infrastructure projects, China accomplishes them in days or weeks, setting new records and pushing the boundaries of what's achievable. Today, we're diving into the most mind-blowing, fast-paced building projects completed in China around the last decade. From high-speed railways to emergency hospitals built in mere days and skyscrapers erected at lightning speed, prepare to be amazed by China's engineering prowess. Let's explore some of these record time projects. Yeah. We can see China's vision on infrastructure projects in movies like The Wandering Earth. This Chinese sci-fi blockbuster set in 2075 showcases a crazy plan to build 12,000 colossal thrusters across Earth's surface that will propel the planet out of its orbit and into a 2,500-year migration through the galaxy. Amidst this apocalyptic backdrop, China's fast construction techniques are evident in the rapid deployment of these colossal thrusters, emphasizing the nation's resilience and adaptability in the face of global catastrophe. Our first project was also built in the face of a global crisis, the Hu Shenshan Hospital. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, this emergency hospital in Wuhan was constructed in just 10 days. Spanning 34,000 square meters, Hu Shenshan Hospital was designed to accommodate 1,000 beds, complete with intensive care units and medical facilities. The speed and efficiency of this project were live-streamed, capturing global attention. Over 7,000 workers were involved in the construction, working day and night to meet the deadline. Did you know about this crazy infrastructure? Next, we have the Nanlong Railway section in Longyan, Fujian Province. Completed in just nine hours, this project set a new benchmark for rapid railway construction. This station, spanning 5,000 square meters, was constructed with an innovative approach that minimized disruption to extensive railway services. The rapid build was essential to enhance the connectivity of the region. The construction of Nanlong Railway Station involved 1,500 workers and 300 machines operating simultaneously, completing the project in just over a day. Could these methods be the future of construction? In 2012, Broad Sustainable Building constructed the T30 Hotel Tower in Changcha. This 30-story building was erected in just 15 days. The T-30 Hotel Tower was built using prefabricated modules, which were assembled on-site. This method not only speeds up construction, but also reduces waste and increases energy efficiency. The T-30 Hotel Tower can withstand earthquakes of up to magnitude 9.0, thanks to its innovative design and construction methods. Next, we have the Shanghai Yangshan Deep Water Port Phase 4. This automated container terminal is the largest of its kind in the world. The port can handle 4 million TEUs annually, with automated cranes and vehicles moving containers efficiently and safely. The rapid construction of this port is a testament to China's commitment to modernizing its logistics infrastructure. The port's construction required dredging enough seabed to fill 2,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. How would an automated port like this impact the world? In 2015, Beijing witnessed the incredible demolition and reconstruction of the San Yuan Bridge. This entire process was completed in just 43 hours. The construction of this vital urban link involved meticulous planning and execution. Using prefabricated bridge segments, this project set a new standard for rapid urban infrastructure development. The flyover bridge was constructed over a weekend, minimizing disruption to daily traffic in Beijing, a city known for its bustling streets and constant movement. The project used over 1,300 tons of steel and 2,400 cubic meters of concrete, all precisely coordinated. Still under construction, the Shenzhen Hong Kong International Center is set to become the third tallest building in the world. Once completed, this skyscraper will stand at 668 meters, featuring state-of-the-art design and green technologies. It's a symbol of China's ambition and engineering capabilities. 
The skyscraper will feature a sky bridge at 500 meters high, offering unparalleled views and a unique architectural marvel. It's like something out of Blade Runner, a futuristic skyline that pushes the boundaries of what's possible. What futuristic building projects are you most excited about? Now, let's talk about the Qingdao Overpass transformation. In 2018, the city of Qingdao dismantled an overpass in just 48 hours and rebuilt it in a little over five months. The project involved a complex logistical operation, including the coordination of 2,000 workers and 500 pieces of machinery. The rapid dismantling minimized disruption, and the reconstruction was completed efficiently. The entire dismantling and reconstruction process involved over 20,000 cubic meters of concrete and 5,000 tons of steel. Moving on to the Mini Sky City Tower in Changsha, a remarkable 57-story skyscraper that was constructed in just 19 days. This innovative project utilized modular construction techniques, where large sections of the building were prefabricated off-site and assembled on-site. The Mini Sky City Tower includes residential units, office spaces, and even a hotel, accommodating a wide range of functions within its compact footprint. How could rapid skyscraper construction benefit us in the future? Moving on to another astonishing project in Changcha, China, a 10-story building constructed in an unprecedented 28 hours and 48 minutes. This groundbreaking project utilized innovative steel containers, known as the Living Building System, which were bolted together to form the structure. The modular units were prefabricated off-site and assembled with precision on-site, drastically reducing construction time while maintaining high standards of quality and safety. What implications could modular construction methods have for the future of our cities? Finally, let's talk about the world's fastest built building, the Arc Hotel in Changsha. This 15-story hotel was constructed in just six days. The Arc Hotel was built using prefabricated modules, allowing the construction team to assemble the entire structure in a remarkably short time. This method not only speeds up construction, but also ensures high standards of safety and quality. Can you imagine a 15-story hotel going up in just six days? From towering skyscrapers to crucial transport hubs, China continues to redefine the possibilities of rapid construction. The projects we've explored today not only showcase technological advancements, but also highlight China's dedication to enhancing its infrastructure for the future. This effort is portrayed in the previously mentioned Chinese blockbuster The Wandering Earth, which shows a breathtaking vision of advanced infrastructure and technology designed to save humanity. These marvels of engineering are a testament to global cooperation. Could China's fast-paced way of building infrastructures be the key to our future as a planet? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.